What is up YouTube? Today I'll be making a quick video on how to check your own fuses with only some pliers. And I will also let you guys know how to do with the multimeter, which is really simple. I don't have a multimeter right now, but I will let you guys know how to do it just in case you guys do have one. And it's really not that hard. So let's get straight to it. So usually on some cars, you're gonna have your fuse box around here under the steering wheel. And you will have like a little cap that says, uh, that tells you what fuses are what. For mine, it is a Toyota Celica. It has the fuses over here on this side. And you will see them right in there. Those are all my fuses for the cabin. And then I have this little thing right here, which I will also be showing you guys how to read because this is confusing. It can be confusing at times. So let me get onto the passenger side and show you guys the fuses and how to read that. All right, so I'm over here on the other side and usually when one of your fuses are not working or they're blown or something, something in your car is not gonna work. So let's say my sunroof uh, fuse goes out, which is this one right here, number 34. It says sunroof, it's a 15A, 15 amp, I believe that, that's what that means. And over here you see, well, first of all, let me show you guys how to read this. So to read the cap, on the fuses you will see this kind of drawing right here and it shows you where everything is and if you look over here they're arranged just like they are over here so you see that 17 and then you see that big one over there and that's what that is the rest are shaped like that so this is just a drawing and then you see on over on the right, it's like another column. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, till 16, which is these over here. And then the ones over at the end. So that's what this is right here. This is just the drawing, 17. So if you go to number 17, it is going to be over here. It's going to be a 30A. So there's that. And it says deaf. I'm not sure what that means. But 17 here is a 30A. And 17 is going to be this big one, which you see the 30 on it, which means that it's right. And then every single one of these is the same over here. So let's see. Let's look at 34, which is the last one at the left. So 34, you go look at it. It's my sunroof. So if I take that one out, or if that one is blown, then my sunroof is not going to move. So it is a 15A. So you go over here, look at it, you see that number 15, and then it's going to be the same for every single one. Another example, last one, so let's just do this one on the other side, so 18. 18 over here is tail, might be tail light, uh, it's a 10A, so... 18 at the very end is going to be a 10. And you see down there, the very end on the right, and it is indeed a 10. So, that's how you read that. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And it's, it's very simple. It really is. So, uh, also... If you take this one out or if it's blown, your cigarette lighter 
is not going to work. And then the heater. Is that one right there? If you take it out, if you have your car running and the uh, heater is on, if you take this out, it will just stop. So you put it back in, it'll start running again. It's quite a big deal for just a little simple fuse. So if anything goes bad on your car, check the fuses first. This is the cabin one. I'll be showing you guys the one up there as well. And yeah. So there's that. To check them to see if they're good, you will just pull them out. You either get some pliers or your car might come with a little pincher type of thing. But this is all you're going to do. So I'm going to try to grab that 15. Hold it right. And then it comes right out. This one, you can see right there. It is not burnt. It is not broken. You can tell it's burnt or broken by obviously just looking at it. So that one's good. We put it back in. Same way we found it. Let me see if I can. It's kind of hard to see. But there it is. Push it back in. Like that. And yeah. And let me show you guys what a burnt one looks like. Just so you guys know. Here we go. This is a number 10. And there you can see it broken in half. And it is burnt. So this one's no good anymore. And I had to replace it. So there is that. It's going to be very similar to check for the front one the one is the one that is right by the computer and let me get over there right now and show you guys yeah, so we're here at the front of the engine and there's a box that says relay and fuse and that's when what you're gonna try to look for it's usually a pretty big box and they're really easy to come off for this one there's just something that you push right there and this one, as well as the other one, will have the fuses. And this one's actually easier to read, as you can see. It's everything right there on the cap. Same thing on the other side. It's exactly how it looks. So, if we come over here, and we look at it, you will see that there is one that says head, horn, which is these two. Those, that's this head. That is the horn. So if you take that out, your horn is not going to work. And this one's way easier. As you can see, at the bottom it says spare. I don't know what that means. It's a 7.5. Right there. And then you keep going. Just how the drawing is. Pretty simple. So. And... Yeah, you just put everything back in, how you found it. And if any of them are burnt, then you replace them. And maybe something that you broke will be back to normal. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. This is just a simple tutorial that you guys can do at home. And oh, by the way, to check it with the multimeter, all you got to do is put the black wire on a piece of metal and then put the other one, which is, I believe, the red one into one of these metal pieces on your fuses which you can see it has a the variant as two and either it's gonna give you a reading or it's not so there is that but you
can also do it really easily with some pliers and see if it's burnt or not and yeah if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below and thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next one